Hi there, the name's Nico, and in this video, I analyzed 15 games from new players and discovered 10 mistakes they were making, and I am going to tell you how to fix these mistakes in this video, so let's get started. First mistake I found among the majority of new players is attacking people way too early. In most battle royales, you think of grabbing a weapon and shooting the first person you see, but in eternal turn, this is the wrong thing to do. First part of the game is what I would call the looting phase. In this phase, all you want to do is grab materials you need to finish your build. You should not be fighting anyone. So if you're wondering, well Nico, when should I fight someone? Most players will start attacking each other starting from night 1. Night 1 currently starts 2 minutes and 50 seconds into the game. This is when most players are done with their build. If you're not done with your build at this time, you are probably making one of the mistakes in this video. Speaking of not fighting people, you should not also be fighting the PvE in the early game. I have seen new players once the game starts walk to the first chicken they see and attack it, or they are still in white weapon and fighting a pair of wolves. This is a huge time killer. What you should be doing is finishing your build. Now there is one exception when you should be fighting animals on a white or green weapon. This is when your weapon or another item on your build requires leather. You can tell if you need leather by looking at the harvesting slash hunting section of your build at the middle right of your screen above the map. If there is no leather symbol here, do not fight any animals. If there is a symbol here, look at your weapon at the top right. Is there a leather symbol in the crafting tree shown? If not, you generally do not fight any animals. Once you are more familiar with your build, you will know when you should fight animals for resources. Some builds will need you to grab leather at a particular time in order to not have inventory overload. And this leads to the third mistake you are making, not having inventory awareness. Many builds are made with grabbing harvesting slash hunting resources at a particular time or grabbing food later into a build. How would you know when to grab these resources? If you upgrade an item you need in your build, that harvesting slash hunting resource will flash a few times. When this happens, you should pick up that item needed. You can find branches and stones all around Lumia Island. If you press F8, or this should be on by default for new players, you'll see a branch or stone icon over a branch and stone locations. And if it is leather, then you want to kill an animal that drops leather. Animals that drop leather include chickens, dogs, bats, wolves, and bears. You also want to keep an eye on extra items in your inventory. An example when you grab mouse traps. Most players only need one mouse trap for their build, and then they leave this unneeded mouse trap in their inventory. You want to discard it as soon as possible. You also want to keep an eye out if you drop something from your inventory. In this game, if you are crafting and have 10 items in your inventory already, you will drop the excess material on the ground. Make sure you pick this up. If you don't, you may think you need an item that you would have already had. You might be asking me, Nico, how do I find what item is not needed in my inventory? Most simple and next mistake new players do is not paying attention to the yellow triangles. Yellow triangles mean everything in this game. Yellow triangles represent the items you need in order to finish your build. They are marked on the top left of the item. If the item in your inventory does not have a yellow triangle, you should discard it. The exception is related to food. You start the game with two bread and two water. The water may be marked with a yellow triangle depending on the build, but bread most likely won't be. Bread is a good early game food material because it can be turned into different types of food such as hamburgers, raisin rum bread, and mocha bread. You should have at least one inventory slot for food and one for drinks, although drinks will highly depend on the character. The fifth mistake you are making is not leaving a zone when you should. Now this can be caused by three things. One is you have collected all the items from that zone you are in and are just wasting time looking for something in that zone that doesn't exist. Two is looking for an item you need but can get it later on in your build. This is also a waste of time. And the last thing is you are looking only at parts of certain loot sets, causing you to not find the material you are looking for, delaying your build, and leading to your death. These three things are causing you to die later in the game whether you have realized this or not. To know if you are finished collecting all the items you need from the zone you are in, look at the middle right of your screen. If there is a check mark in text saying search complete above the items you need to grab in that zone, it means you have found everything you need in that zone. If this is the case, leave that zone and head to your next zone. To know where your next zone is, you can press M or tap on your keyboard to pull up the map. Your map will have numbers in order of what zones you need to finish your build in. Go to the zone with the next consecutive number. To know if you can get an item later on in your build, the yellow triangle at the middle right of your screen will not be glowing. Yes, you want to grab all the yellow triangle items, but you can grab some of these items later on. So with the build I'm showing on screen, you can grab scrap metal later on. I'd only grab the two scrap metal in your loot set and leave. And to fix the last thing is to learn loot distribution. I made a complete video on this topic already that you should watch after this video, but the loot in this game is not randomly distributed in a zone. You can find a guaranteed number of items in each cluster or loot set. Here is the map showing these clusters. Most players will look at 2 or 3 containers from a loot set, not find what they need, and then move on to a new loot set. 
This slows your build down a lot. Look at all the bins part of that loot set to see if it has the material you need. Later on into your build, these loot sets will be looted from by other players. Generally when this happens in your first 3 zones, I would just check a different loot set. If you see a bin with less than 5 materials in it, check a different set. It's not worth your time. Anything past your third zone, you probably will have to check more than one loot set. This takes a lot of memorizing and practice to get down, but once you do, the game will feel a lot easier to play. Just trust me. The sixth mistake you are making is not following your route. I've seen new players walk into zones that are not part of the route, looting containers looking for items they need. While you might find some of the items you need, the route of your build was created so that if you go to each zone listed, you will be full build. Getting your build online at the same time as experienced players will close the gap of why you're not doing well. Just open your map with M to see what your next zone is. Sometimes you may have to teleport to a zone. You would want to teleport to a zone where the zones are not touching each other. Here are the locations of the teleporters. You want to head to the closest teleporter, click on the teleporter, click on your next zone, and wait till you're transported to that zone. The next mistake you are making is not farming or fighting enough animals. You might be thinking, Nico, you just said to not fight animals in the early game, and now you are saying I am not fighting enough animals, how does this make any sense? Now you should be fighting every animal you pass on your way to objectives, to loot containers, wherever you need to go once you are finished with your build. The only time you don't want to do this is when that zone is about to turn red or you need to head to an objective right away. Weapon Mastery is extremely important in this game. Weapon Mastery is somewhat complicated, but it basically increases the amount of damage you do. You get this by fighting players or mobs. Every time you are not fighting a mob or player, someone else is, increasing the amount of damage they are doing. So always fight animals on your way to somewhere. Many experienced players will keep in mind when the next animal will spawn in and come back later for that animal. You should work your way towards this. The eighth mistake you are making is cooking food for way too long. Now you may be thinking it's a good idea to have 18 fish and chips on hand, but think about it this way. How long is it taking you to make 18 fish and chips? How many animals or players could you have been fighting within this time period? Because generally making a lot of food takes about one day or night cycle, and two and a half minutes is a long time. You could have just had a stack of healing potions or even steak and fought three bears and four wolves in the same time period. Most of the deaths in this game are caused by you not doing enough damage to your opponent and not you not having enough health to survive their combo or healing for more. Stick to one or two stacks of food and stop cooking. This is one of the most advanced things new players miss and that is not preparing transition items in advance or making the wrong transition items. You probably have heard from experienced players that getting a meteorite or a force core is important. But when you get a hold of these rare resources, you can't make the item you need because the zones with that item are now closed or you don't even know what to make so you make one of the many items you could have made and you made the worst possible one. Many characters have an item they need to upgrade to in order to win the game. An example is Nikki with Permafrost. If Nikki does not get this item, she has an extremely low chance of winning. So if you want to prepare the item you need in case you get that rare resource by going to zones with the materials you need to make that item. Make sure you don't make mistake number 7 and farm all the animals you pass. If you don't know what rare resource to make for your character, I would watch my Basics to Transition Items video in which I explain what resources you should make for what type of playstyle you are doing. And you should head to discord.gg slash test subjects, use the character you're playing, and look under the additional info section for transition items. You can ask people in that discord what items you need for a particular character if it wasn't made clear. I'm sure people are happy to help. The last mistake you're making, and this is the biggest one, is not sticking to one character. You may be excited with all the character choices in this game, there are so many different characters to choose from, all with their own unique style of playing the game. But if you keep changing characters, you will not fix mistakes 1 through 9. This is a difficult game to learn, and you don't want to learn each character's kit, their route, their transition items, their game strategy, etc. every other game. You should be learning what objectives do I need to get in order to win the game, or really, what should my character be doing at this instance to win the game. If you are honestly not sure what character to play, go into practice mode and try out the kit of each character. Spend a few hours playing different characters, seeing what kit you like the best, ask people in the discord I previously mentioned, and then dive deep into that character and pick one road to play over and over again. You need to master the basics before you can move on towards more advanced play. And those are the 10 mistakes you are making right now. If you like Eternal Turn as much as I do, consider subscribing. Since you are probably a new player watching this video, I recommend you watching my beginners playlist which covers a wide variety of topics you should know as a new player. I hope to see you at the next video.